Welcome to using Constant Contact for your Blackjack Pizza Store. This short video will help you understand why email is an important part of your marketing plan, how to create emails, how to edit emails, import contacts, and generate tracking reports. The first thing you'll need to do is create an account. Please try to use the dedicated link so your account will benefit by having already created Blackjack templates dropped in your account. You will be billed by the number of contacts in your account not the number of emails. A common question is how often should we email our customers? A good rule of thumb is no more than once a week. The corporate office keeps a schedule of when they will be sending out emails. You might want to contact the corporate office and schedule your emails accordingly. Why is an email program so important? A vital part of our mission statement is keeping very satisfied customers. There are numerous ways we can communicate with our customers. A box top or email is a very inexpensive way to communicate with our existing customers. A solo direct postcard, door hangers, or TV campaign can be very expensive. We can measure how effective our marketing is in several different ways. Did it induce trial? Did it increase frequency? Or what was the rate of return relative to the allocated cost? When we use print campaigns or door hang neighborhoods, we might only see a 1 to 1, 2 to 1, or 3 to 1 rate of return of revenue to cost if we can track our revenue. With email, we might see a 10 to 1, 20 to 1, or even 50 to 1 rate of return over allocated cost, and we can track our redemption rates much closer than we can with print. We can also do things with emails we can't do with print. We can insert audio, insert video, and provide internet links. We can focus on relationship marketing as well as transaction marketing. We can send birthday cards, highlight our participation in a local parade, or have our entire staff sing Happy New Year to all our customers. We can also structure the content of what we send our customers so it is unique to our store. An email coming from a store in Cheyenne, Wyoming can and should be a lot different than an email coming from a store in Tucson, Arizona. Another great benefit of email marketing is tracking. We can find out what percentage of our emails are opened and or linked through. This is something we could never do with print. In addition, constant contact is a great way to communicate with your staff. Email a weekly schedule, send out a memo or notes from an employee meeting, or forward training materials with a click of a button. How do we get email addresses? We can get them very easily if we're already using an online ordering system. We can have employees ask for email addresses when they are taking orders and every store should have a simple email collection box on a front counter. Once you realize how cost effective email marketing is, you'd be crazy not to empower your staff and your customers to participate. Let's look at how to import a list of emails from our POS system. If we are using the Revention system, we will want to go to the Management menu and then to the Marketing menu. Once we are in the Marketing menu, there should be an area in the lower left hand part of the screen that allows us to select if a customer has an email address. Please check that box. Next, in the upper right hand portion of the screen, there is an option to select only customers that have ordered in the last 90 days. Deselect this option unless, of course, you only want to email customers who have ordered in the last 90 days. Next, find the calendar in the upper left hand area of your screen and define how far back you want your search to extend. The last step is to hit the Query button and let the computer perform the search. Once the search is completed, you now need to export and save the file. Export the file and save it to the hard drive on your PC, or save it to a flash drive if you wish to work with constant contact on a different computer. Name the file in an appropriate manner so you can find it very easily. Main Street Actives 11-12-2010 or something similar. The list is now ready to be imported into Constant Contact. This list is typically saved in a CSV format. In the event you were collecting email addresses from paper slips you collected from a box on the counter, it would be a good idea to put the names and email addresses in an Excel spreadsheet so they could be easily uploaded. Next, with your Constant Contact open, find the Contacts tab. Once you open the Contacts tab, you will have the opportunity to create new list or add contacts to an existing list. Remember, you are billed by the number of contacts you have. You might have one list for residential customers, one list for business customers, 
one list for school accounts, or even an employee list. Once you select the appropriate list, hit the Next button. You will now have the opportunity to browse or select the file you downloaded from your POS system. Select the file, hit the Return button, and let the file upload. Sometimes this process takes just a few seconds, and sometimes it takes several minutes. It will be dependent on the size of your file. Once the list is imported, the Constant Contact software will ask you what you want to import. We could import a customer's phone number or last order date, but it doesn't serve us any purpose, so why bother? The only two pieces of data you really need are the customer's name and email address. Use the correct pull-down section in the Name column and the Email column and select Do Not Import on the other columns. Once you have done this once or twice, you will realize how easy it is. The software will automatically purge duplicate addresses as well. If you want to enter email addresses and names one at a time or do it manually, that can be done very easily as well. Simply select your appropriate way to enter the contact and follow the prompts. Once we have our emails imported, we can create an email or use an existing template that has been created for us. Most stores will use an existing template and simply modify an address, phone number, or pricing. If you have ever used a Microsoft product before, editing your email should be pretty easy. Each email is set up in a series of blocks. Within each block, you will see three icons. The three icons are for editing, copying, or deleting. If you need to change an address in a pre-created box, simply hit the edit icon. It looks like a pencil. Simply edit the content in a manner just like you would in Microsoft Word. If you are in the edit mode, you can change colors, fonts, font sizes, alignments, and the sizes of any images or photos. If you need to delete a particular box or part of an email, just use the delete icon. It looks like a trash can. If you would like to add more content to the email and don't want to recreate a lot of the graphics or text, simply hit the copy icon and add new content. Before you finalize an email, hit the save button at the top. It is a good idea to run a spell check on your email before you send it out. The spell check button is easy to locate and run. Make sure you are in the edit mode. That is the only way your spell check will work. It is also a good idea to utilize the preview option before sending out an email. Different browsers and smartphones will display the final content in different formats. By using the preview button, you can send an email to yourself and see how the email will appear. You will want to review the message headings and the message form part of your email. Your open rate will be greater if the email is coming from Blackjack of Aurora rather than from Bob Smith. I would recommend creating a designated email on Yahoo or Google if you don't have one already. Make sure your email message is simple, short, and intriguing. Try not to use too many bold characters or explanation points. Doing so might flag your email as possible spam. Adding images or links is very easy. When you are in the edit mode, select Add Image or Add Link. The software will then ask you to choose the appropriate image or link. Before you can send an email, make sure you have a physical address at the bottom of the email. Constant Contact cannot send out an email without a physical address. Once you're happy with the final content of your email, it's time to send it. Simply select the list of recipients you would like to receive the email and schedule an appropriate time. You also have the opportunity to create an archive or generate an email link on your Facebook account. If you have a sharp looking email, you can easily post it on your Facebook account as well. With respect to timing on your emails, a few simple suggestions. Monday and Monday mornings are kind of a bad idea. Open rates aren't real good when our customers are going back to work or going back to school. Thursday evenings or Friday afternoons are ideal. If you are going to do a Monday or a Tuesday, I would recommend using a very short expiration, five days or this week only, in an attempt to boost the front part of the week. Once the email is sent, you can see how well it performed by going to the report section in your Constant Contact software. Here you can see how many emails were opened, how many emails didn't go through, and when they were opened, and what links were selected. Don't expect huge open rates. What percentage of all emails you receive do you open? Anything above 
is considered a very good open rate for commercial emails. Even if the email wasn't opened, a customer saw our name and recognized our brand. One of the great benefits of email marketing compared to print marketing is you can make small changes in coupon offers with virtually no setup cost. You might consider running an offer at $9.95 instead of $9.99 in order to track your redemption a little more closely. A final comment on email marketing. Just like any other form of marketing, there is real value in consistency. Try to plan your email marketing months in advance. Pick out dates and times that would be ideal. With a few keystrokes, you can have a marketing program laid out for the next several months. If you have any questions or need further assistance, don't be afraid to call or email. Please also put me on your list of active customers. I'd love to see any new creative content you might have.